Hey everybody. I had uh, kind of an interesting idea to do a contest. Um, as many of you might know, um, there's a group called the Wall Builders that uh, submitted a brief uh, to the court to argue against uh, pagans' rights um, at, when in regards to the uh, pagan prisoners case. A lot of people don't realize how much that affects all pagans, but what you don't understand is that the, co that the federal court system where these uh, cases are being argued in, um, they have precedence over the entire United States. So if they make a um, if they make an argument, you know, if they make a ruling that pagans are, you know, either not a religion or, um, you know, not worthy of rights under the First Amendment, then we do lose our rights, you know, and that that's got a lot of consequences. So um, what I'd like to see is a little bit of support from the pagan community. And this is just kind of a raising awareness um, contest to get people kind of in the spirit of um, kind of fighting for our rights. So what I'd like people to do is to review the arguments that are in the, uh, the briefing, which I'm going to post here in the description, okay? And I can sum it up for you real quick. Basically, they're suggesting that the... the uh, Definition of religion has changed since the time of the Founding Fathers, and that during the time of the Founding Fathers, the definition of religion included only monotheistic religions. So that's their first point. Their second point is, is that the Founding Fathers would not have wanted to include religions that included witchcraft or pagan religions into um, the, the protections of the First Amendment. So they're arguing that we should not be protected by the First Amendment and that we should not be considered religion or religions, I should say. So, um, please pose your arguments in a, in, um, you know, a very respectful manner and everything like that. And I'm going to give you a list of rules now so that you can submit it. And there's going to be two winners. Basically those two people who get the most votes, um, will get a book for my collection. Okay. So here are the rules. To be eligible to win the prize, you must live within the United States and be an American citizen. You must be part of a larger pagan community. Your arguments must remain professional, which means no swearing, no name calling, no straw manning, and no taking out of context. Please only use scholarly or primary sources for your argument. Your video must be less than 15 minutes long. In order for your video to be considered, you must post it as a video response to this video. All videos that meet the requirements will be accepted as video responses. Winners will be chosen by the number of likes on the video. Remember that the goal of the contest is to repeat the arguments in the brief Keep your arguments on point. Don't bring in arguments from the wall builders from other places. Two winners will be picked in two weeks as of uh, October 15, 2011. There are other things that you can do as well. Uh, you need to write a letter to the governor of California, Jerry Brown, or to the district attorney of California and tell them why pagans need a chaplain. Also, we need to thank the people who've been helping us like Americans are United for the Separation of Church and State, the Anti-Defamation League, and other organizations that have stepped to our defense when they didn't need to. Also, do whatever you can in order to, you know, let people know about this issue. And uh, sign the petition at the White House that I created. I'm going to post a link in the description. If you need help finding sources, let me know. I do have some resources available to me. Also, I have two prizes to give away to the two winners. It's not much, but it is a witchcraft book for my collection.